Hey y'all, Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. I've got a little bit of a different grip review for you here. This is part one on the ATN Excite 4K Pro. And yes, this is a firearm and this is an air rifle. Let's grip it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. So the ATN X-Lite 4K Pro is an electronic scope that you can use during the day and even at night, as well as record very, very nice video footage. Before we go forward, guys, I'd like to thank Airgun Pro Shop for making this video possible. If you guys want to find out more about Airgun Pro Shop and the products that they carry, including the ATN x 4K Pro Optics, go to www.airgunproshop.com. So here are some of the aesthetics. It is available in 3 to 14 or 5 to 20 magnification. They offer different colors and different patterns. They have the black and then they have the um, Breakup Country, Elements Terra, and Bottomland. Included with the optic is an eye cup, sunshade, two standard rings, one L-shaped ring, one ring with integrated Picatinny rail, an IR850 infrared illuminator for night vision, a USB-C cable for charging, a scope cover, and lens tissue. Oh. And let's not forget the two-year manufacturer's warranty. From the eye bell to the objective bell of the 3 to 14, the total length is 13.8 inches and it weighs a total of 2.1 pounds. The 5 to 20 is 14.9 inches and weighs 2.2 pounds. Both have the rest of these in common, a 30 millimeter tube and 90 millimeter eye relief. You'll also get 18 hours of full operation when you charge the lithium ion battery fully and that takes about six hours from drained to full. It operates in temperatures ranging from negative 20 Fahrenheit to 120 Fahrenheit and is weather resistant. That means it's not waterproof. Don't go swimming with your optics. There are so many cool features to these optics, but don't get overwhelmed because you don't have to know everything about them in order to use them. Just learn the basics and it'll serve you well. Okay, so basic operation. First, very first, you better plug it in and charge it up. And it takes about six hours. So as soon as you get it, plug it in, let it charge about six hours for a full 18 hour charge. And then we have all these wonderful buttons. Okay, so here's the power button. This is the video um, record button. This takes pictures. This is your, basically your okay or your enter button. It also takes you to the um, main menu. This, these also um, are dual purpose. This is up, down, um, right, left, enter. And then you got your zoom over here. And I think that's about it for now. I'm gonna show you guys how to get started. And I know I'm not gonna be able to show you the inside of the scope, but if you guys wanna see videos that actually have that kind of stuff, YouTube's ATN um, channel has a bunch of how-to videos. So let's just go over the basic operation. Um, so we're going to power it on. So you're going to push this button down, power it on, and it takes just a couple seconds. It doesn't take long. And then you're going to need a mini SD card and you're going to insert that in the card slot right there on the right side of your scope. And of course, this is the charging port right here where you would plug it in to charge it. You're going to want to format your card. So you need to go to the tools and then go over to photo slash video on the bar, go down to format SD card, go to yes. It's going to say, are you sure you want to delete everything? If you want to format it, then say yes. And then it'll process for just a minute. Format successful, hit okay. All right, now we're going to go back up and so you're going to have your target up and first thing you want to do is zero it, right? Because you want to hit what you're shooting at. So I've got the 
H&N Sport Barracuda 18s, and that's what I'm going to be using for my setting up. So I'm just going to load a couple um, mags, and I have the JTS Aracuda standard here in 22 cal. This is for the um, the profiles. You can enter all, all the ballistic information in the bullet weight, the muzzle velocity, what range you're going to zero at. In this, I have 25 yards. The sight height. Just enter all that information, and it. Okay, so I've got my mag loaded. Um, I've got my card inserted. Now I want to zero it. So you're just going to take a shot and see where it's landing. Okay, so that was high right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the menu bar and go to the little wrench, which is the tool. And then you're going to push, go to the right until it says profile slash zero. Go down to current, click on that and then it says zero reticle. So you're gonna click on that. Okay, so now you're gonna see two reticles. You're gonna see a white one and a red one. You wanna leave the red one where, the, um, where you aimed at, your bullseye. And you're gonna move with these buttons right here, you're gonna move the white reticle to where the bullet actually hit. You're gonna move it there. And then once you get that reticle where it needs to be, you're gonna press the center button which is okay and it's going to give you a menu go down to save and exit and click okay on that and then you're going to back out and back out all the way to your main screen which will show your reticle and you'll be ready to take another shot and then you're going to take another shot and bullseye so it does the the guesswork for you with a zero reticle that's pretty much it guys now you're ready to take some shots I and mean, if you want to record your shots, of course, you're going to push this button right here to take video. And if you just want to take some pictures, you push this button. There's a lot more to this scope, but we're going to go over that in part two. This is just part one. A scope, a camera, day or night hunting. Um, you can transfer it from gun to gun. Um, you can save profiles for different types of ammo. I'm not going to go into any more detail, guys. That's what part two is for. So. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns. Thank you all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive. I promise. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. But maybe you're a little more tech savvy. Go ahead, dive in. There's a lot to learn about these ones. Text. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. Thank you. I was supposed to say see ya. Ha! Huh.